How's it hanging? Nice to meet you. I'm Nick, a solo game dev from Switzerland working on a Metroidvania game called Astic. This is the third entry of the Devlog series, so feel free to check out the other videos too. We're already close to 100 subscribers, which is really damn cool, and I didn't expect it to go that fast, so thank you for that. In this devlog I will talk about the different enemy types that are currently in Astic. Since I've just completed implementing pathfinding for flying enemies, I thought that it might be a good idea to talk about this topic. Creating enemy types for this kind of game is really rewarding in my opinion. It really brings the world to life. Well, until you brutally murder them, at least. Um, as I said in a previous video, there are currently 6 unique enemies in the game. So let's talk about them. There are the Blugler, the Globler, and the Blocklord. I'm the Glob Glow Gab Uh, the Brimstone Plant, the Brimstalker, and the Spear Guard. Uh, let's talk about the Blockler first. This was the first enemy created for Astic. Its patrol AI is pretty much as simple as it can get. The Blockler just walks and turns directions when reaching a wall or an edge. They also have only one hit point, so they're really just cannon fodder in a way. For teaching the mechanics of the game though, they're perfect. Over time there were quite some changes to the Blocklers design, it took me a while to actually figure out a design I'm happy with. Blocklers appear in the Bubble Woods as well as the Mist Cave, they're the most common creature in Astic at the moment. So let's talk about the Globbler. The Globbler was the second enemy type to be created for Astic. It's a flying creature that chases the player when they come too close. For a long time the AI was pretty simple as it was only chasing the player's transform component without reacting to the environment and thus ignoring collisions. As I've said before, I've finally been able to implement pathfinding now though. Before, the movement felt pretty cheap and kinda off. It feels much more natural now. The Globless design is based on a jellyfish, but I also tried to make it somewhat similar to the Blugless design. While I still like the old design, the current one is much more fitting. Globless mostly appear in the mist cave and its surrounding areas. So let's talk about the Bloglord. The Bloglord is the first enemy type with an actual attack taking 5 hits to kill as well as being much more aggressive than the enemy's players fought up until this point in the game, it's supposed to be the first real challenge in terms of combat. When it spots the player, it will chase him until it's close enough to hit him with a large downward slash. It's not too hard to dodge the attack, but you can't just blindly attack this type of foe and expect to win. Blocklords live in the deeper parts of the bubble woods. So let's talk about the brimstone plant. Did you ever hate a certain type of enemy because you're just getting destroyed by it over and over? No? I mean, maybe you're a weirdo, but everyone else certainly has. It's not supposed to be annoying to play this game, so don't get me wrong. These types of enemies often demand players to change their approach, and if they can do so, it's mostly not even that bad. The Brimstone Plant is a stationary enemy type located in the Brimstone Valley. The plant shoots projectiles in the player's direction. There are three different distances the There are three different distances the projectiles can cover, depending on how far the player stands away from the plant. Running past it isn't too easy, you have to actively dodge the projectiles while either getting close enough to hit the plant or far enough away to not get hit. So let's talk about the Brimstalker. This handsome creature doesn't only have the sexiest legs of Brimstone Valley, it also has the squirt. The Brimstalker isn't actually too dangerous, its large size just makes it hard to run past it. It's probably the best option to attack while trying to not get hit by the squirt. To be completely honest, the AI code was pretty much copied from the Blocklord script. I realized that it's pretty flawed in terms of efficiency though. That's why I started to create a much more modular system for enemy types. More on that in a second though, there is one enemy type left. So let's talk about the Spear Guard. This is probably the most ambitious enemy type so far. Just look at the sprite sheets alone. Remember that the Blockler had like two animations? Yeah, this one took quite some time to create. At the top of the bubble woods there are ruins of a fallen city. In this area players will face these ex town guards who don't seem to have any sanity left. They will be using their spears to charge at you from a distance and to attack close up with an upward slash. They're also pretty noisy. <coughs> While creating the spear guard I also thought carefully about how to make enemy creation more efficient. Up until that point I had unique scripts for all of the enemy types. But that meant that I'd have to write every new enemy script from scratch which is work and nobody likes to do work. That's why I worked more to do less work later. There are now health scripts that are applicable to every new enemy type as well as patrol scripts for grounded enemies and the previously mentioned pathfinding script for flying enemies. Having this kind of system makes it much easier. I'm only required to write unique scripts which are much less convoluted for enemy specific behavior. That's why I'm positive that there will be many more enemies to fight in Astic soon. 
Creating these six currently existing enemy types taught me much about how to progress further in the development of the game. I left the bosses out for now, but I might talk about them in the future too. What's your favorite of the enemies I've talked about? Feel free to share your opinion in the comments, I'd love to hear about them. And thanks for listening to me blabbering for the third time now, it's pretty weird to know that my content has been watched for over 30 hours now to be honest. Weird but also motivating to keep doing this. I'm sure that we'll be able to reach even greater goals in the future, so thanks again. Uh, and don't forget to leave your wife, subscribe to Chanel and hit that bell.